Without the invention of the bow and arrow, the survival of mankind would not be the same. And according to archery trade, among adult U.S. Pre residents as a whole, only 9.2% participate in archery today. Now, today we will explore the history of archery, the history of its equipment, and the history of archery as a sport. The history of archery has greatly impacted man's survival in the way of hunting and war. According to Flemish bow hunting, until the Neolithic Revolution, the bow was the primary weapon next to the spear for hunting. Around 60 to 61,000 years ago, the first arrowheads were discovered in a cave in South Africa. And medieval chronicles stated that almost all ancient civilizations had archers as part of their armies. Now, since we've explored the past uses of archery, we will now uncover the evolution of the bow and arrow. The bow and arrow has it's evolved to its needs of the time. And according to Archery GB, modern compound bows are made from materials such as aluminum and carbon fiber. I have this one over here. And now, earlier bows were made out of flexible wood with two strings at the end. More modern bows and more expensive bows have scopes to help the accuracy of vision and have pulleys systems to help the power increase maximum power. Now, some people may ask, how much can an arrow change? So I have an arrow right here. These are the fetchings and they used to be made out of feathers. They help accuracy of the arrow. They're now made of silicone. And over here, we have the tip, which can be interchangeable if you want to replace them any, any way or buy new ones. Many old arrows used to be made so they could be set on fire during war, or they could have been made of bones in earlier times and made of metal. Now, the Ar Quick's archery stated that there have been five different types of arrows made throughout the years, such that I have listed previously. Now that we have uncovered the evolution of the bow and arrow, we will dive into the we will dive into the Olympic sport, the history of the Olympic sports of archery. Now, According to Washington Post, archery became an official event in the modern Olympic Games in 1900. Now this only lasted for 20 years. In 1920, archery was no longer included in the Olympic sports. Um, this for over 50 years. In 1972, it was reinstated in the Olympic sports. And according to World Archery stated, John Williams and Doreen Wilbert became archery's first Olympic champions in the modern era. This occurred in Munwich in 1972. Now, today that we have explored the different types of archery, the history of its equipment, and the history of archery as Olympic sport, one can understand that history is one of the key elements to thrive as a society. If we want to thrive and innovate in anything, we must learn how it started. Carl Sagan once said, to know the past is to understand the present.